everybody. We tracked down Tyler Rattray here at Milestone, making his return to racing. Uh, only been back a couple of days now. How you feeling? Yeah, I've been feeling good. This is my second day back riding, and uh, it's definitely me. It's definitely fun to be back riding again. You know, I've been on the couch for three months, and uh, still try to keep the physical condition going. You know, the cycling and running, and uh, but it's definitely awesome to be back riding. Now you, you mentioned that uh, obviously the injury was to your cervical spine in there. Um, was it C7? Is that what you said? Yeah, it was. Uh, I fractured my C7 and. Uh, from the beginning, I didn't really feel any pain, you know, but uh, obviously I fractured it, so I had to really give it time to heal up to be uh, to be good enough to come back and ride again in case uh, I tippled over or something like that. So got released uh, on Friday with uh, a doctor down in San Diego that uh, that studied my back again, and uh, yeah, so go back in about three weeks' time. I think it's the week just before Hangtown. Get another X-ray again, just make sure everything's under control, and then uh, yeah, it's time to go racing. Yeah, show everybody the blisters. This is two days in. It happens to everybody. Look at that. He's human. Uh, how's it feel to be back on the bike? Yeah, no, it definitely feels good. You know, it's uh, being away from it uh, definitely makes you miss it for sure. And uh, you know, obviously, they're back racing the West Coast rounds now, and normally I should be out there racing, but. Uh, just happy to be back riding, you know. It's, uh, it's a bummer I'm not racing, but like I said, I'm just happy to be back riding and uh, obviously looking forward now to the Nationals, getting uh, getting the motocross riding in, getting testing done, putting motos in. So definitely looking forward to getting back out there in the summer and uh, and trying to go for another championship. Yeah, now it's down to crunch time. I mean, we've only got a few weeks until the opener. You know, how much time, is that enough time for you to be ready to come into this thing swinging? Yeah, definitely. You know, obviously, on my time off, I'd still been uh, still been working hard on the bicycle and running, and uh, obviously been training with Alden. He's uh, really got me on a good program. So I know coming into the season, my physical condition is not going to be a problem. It, uh, it never has been a problem over my years of racing. I've always uh, worked hard, and uh, maybe I might be lacking a bit of speed. I think coming into the first round, but uh, definitely looking forward to just getting out there and racing and being at the races again and uh, obviously looking forward towards those really hot races. Now, uh, you know, at the start of the Supercross season, I know I was really impressed with how you were riding. I think a lot of people were. Uh, you were right there in the thick of it for the championship until your crash. Uh, how, how, what were your thoughts on that and, and now watching your teammate and Eli Tomac go down to the wire for this title, you know, what, what are your thoughts there? Oh, I think it's good, you know, good for both of them. It's going to be their first Supercross championship, and uh, they both won it bad, like we saw last weekend. You know, there were some aggressive passes going on, and uh, I think it's going to be good. It's going to be a good, definitely going to be a good race to watch in Vegas if, uh, if it goes down to there. So, yeah, wish them both luck, and uh, yeah, may the best man win. And where would you be in that fight if you were healthy? I'd love to be there fighting with them. So, uh, you know, it's, uh, I've still got a lot of years of racing left and uh, just look forward to to being back riding again. You know, it's, uh, I've really missed it being away from it for three months and uh, just getting back out there and riding again and getting the blisters on your hand and the suffering. It uh, was really a lot of fun. Yeah, a lot of fun, especially when you hop in the shower for the first time. Well, you, you've been a title contender outdoors. I think a lot of people expect you to be uh, wearing the number one plate at the end of the year. So good luck on that chase. Yeah, thank you.